Welcome to Type 1 and Tech at Swansea University. It's a guide to technology that will help you manage your Type 1 diabetes. What it is, how it works, if it's right for you, and above all, how do you get it? I really want to find out what the innovations are uh, in diabetes tech. I think we're all going to get a lot more control, a lot more data, so hopefully it'll be a lot easier for us. I've had diabetes for 52 years. I just started on the pump two years ago. It changed my attitude towards any technology. You know, when I was a little girl, I used to think, well, one day you look down and you'll be able to just see what your blood sugar is. Now it's here. I think that's changed the life of many people. My little girl, Katie, was diagnosed last year, so I uh, just wanted to get as much information as you can to improve the quality of her life. She's currently on a Libra system, which we can scan. Although the next step, the thing I'm most interested in as a parent is getting that information to automatically transmit to her pump, so there's less interaction by us. So, you know, it's, it's a, like a closed loop system, if you like it, constantly monitoring and adjusting. The closed loop system that is currently available is still not fully automated, as in fully closed loop. So the individual still needs to do some work to make the system work better. Ultimately, I think over the next five to ten years, we'll have better, better closed loop systems, which eventually will take the diabetes away from the person. We've just launched the 670 pump in the UK, and that pump has got an automatic mode, which means for the first time it will automatically deliver basal rates for individual patients. It will really help with the people like myself. We're totally dependent on the sensor because I've got no warning signs of hypos and that would help with the correcting then of the blood sugar after the, the hypo ends. It's not completely closed loop but the one I'm starting on should interrupt uh, insulin flow if I have to go low. Which is going to be fantastic for night times to be honest. I really struggle with insomnia at the moment. We've all got slightly different physiology, so a system that works well for me might not work well for you and a system that works well for you might not work well for me. do-it-yourself artificial pancreases. So this is where we take um, the existing technology, so pumps, CGMs, and combine them with um, home-built algorithms that automatically manage glucose levels. It's something that anybody can have a go at, it's freely available, um, and that really what we really want people to do is to say, oh wow, there is another way. Technology can really help to alleviate the burden of living with diabetes. I want people to know that there is hope for the future with a lot of new technologies coming uh, into play, the management of children with diabetes, and that if they embrace pump technology and other te technologies that are now available, the life for them in the future will be better than their parents. And the big question, of course, is can you get it on the NHS? We're very fortunate in Wales that we're moving quite quickly um, in terms of access to technology. Flash is available in Wales and people are being prescribed it, but some people still aren't getting it. The battle is to get fair and equal access to technology for people with diabetes. And the future is... Right, Jesse. Excellent. Fascinating. Easy. Exciting. Positive. If you want any more help, just get in touch. <laughs>